dude, come on in. Uh, I, I got a better idea. instruments were already recorded before I even went down to Kansas City. Uh, guitar equipment, I was running uh, my Ibanez RG2228, which is the production 8-string model that they make, and uh, I was playing that through a Fractal Audio XFX Ultra. You really can't find a nicer combination for the, uh, the type of music that I'm trying to do here. So I did all the bass and guitars uh, DI, which is short for direct input. It records the natural sound of your instrument uh, without any treatment on it, and then you can take that WAV file and push it back through a reamp box. One of the benefits of recording all your instruments DI is being able to go back after everything is all edited and then pick all your tones. It's really taken home recording to a new level because there are no limits to what you can do. I had traveled down to Kansas City in the summertime to produce a record for a band called Your Memorial who had signed to Face Down and they were putting out their debut disc. And it was there down at Ashland Studios that I met Josh Barber. There was an instant chemistry there so when it came time for me to decide on where I wanted to do my record, there, there really wasn't any question to it. I contacted Josh and said, look. I don't have any money, I'm financing this thing entirely by myself, but would you help me do this? And he said absolutely. Every day was just laughs and jokes and stupid things on TV. And Standing erect. I mean, honestly, if it wasn't for Josh, this record probably still wouldn't be done. And who knows how long it would have taken. My name is I am a bug.
friend Shane Oshner sings in a band called Hands. He had approached me at the studio to come and sing a line on the record. I said, sure man, What's, what, what do you want to sing? And Shane kind of comes close and he whispers real quietly to me and he says, I've never said fuck on a record before and I really, really want to. And sure enough, the next day he got into the vocal booth and laid down one of like the gnarliest fucks ever recorded. And that was it. That was his one line. And he was happy. Everyone was happy. That's how you say fuck. <laughs> First time you'll ever hear it, probably the last time. I put everything I had into that one, though. I said I would. <laughs> the fuck? Why are you filming this, Carl? Of course you're gonna film the part that I don't nail. <laughs> Nailed every line so far and now you're gonna film the part that I'm not gonna be able to do. Alright, well I'm gonna tell the camera that I smashed every other line perfect. No problem, so I'm done. Alright. There you have it. The record's called Call and Response. Uh, it should be out early 2011. Not sure how I'm putting it out yet, but uh, that will all be figured out in the weeks to come. And uh, yeah, keep checking back on my Facebook page and my Twitter for all the updates about this record and about Misery Signals and everything else. So that's it. Thanks. Be seeing you later. Top and bottom. Turkey solo. And then, um, they ain't good. But they ain't bad. Hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your kids, hide your wife. And hide your husband cause they're raping everybody out here. You ain't gotta go and confess. We looking for you. We gonna find you. We gonna find you. Can run and tell that. Run and tell that. Run and tell that. Homeboy. Home, home, homeboy.